in this video we are going to discuss about classification of systems so up to uh, last class we discussed the classification of signals so like that we are going to classify systems also so we are having seven different uh, classification of signals so first is linear and non-linear non system and time variant and time invariant system and linear time variant linear time invariant system static and dynamic system causal and non-causal system and invertible and non-invertible system stable and unstable system so here coming to this short descriptions of this classification of systems so linear and non-linear system for a linear and non-linear system so for example if a system characteristics satisfies superposition principle and linearity then that is said to be linear system if it's not satisfying superposition principle then that is said to be a non-linear system that is a short description about linear and non-linear system so linearity or non-linearity that can be dependent upon superposition theorem so here we will discuss each and every one from next class onwards like uh, classification of signals so here uh, second classification is time variant and time invariant system as the name indicates if the characteristics of the system if the input output characteristics of the system is varying with time then that is said to be time variant if the characteristics are not changing with time that is said to be time invariant system so now coming to linear time variant linear time invariant these systems are very very important so throughout uh, your signals and systems why because so in your uh, second unit itself or second topic of signals and systems itself is a lti systems that we are going to discuss so here linear time variant system is a system which satisfies both linearity and time variant then that system is said to be linear time variant system and here coming to linear time invariant system if a uh, system satisfies the condition of linearity and time invariance then that particular system is said to be linear time invariant system particularly this lti systems are very very important for our signals and systems point of view so now coming to static and dynamic system so static system is a memoryless system system which stores whatever we are giving now so dynamic system is having memory and it's having uh, some knowledge on previous inputs and outputs also so simply we can say static system is a memoryless system and dynamic system is a memory system so coming to causal and non causal system causal system uh, the uh, characteristics of the system the system response will depends upon the present and post inputs so here uh, non causal system so which is not obeying that uh, causal uh, system causal system uh, uh, feature that is called as non causal so here whatever um, inputs we are having that means uh, if a system response is depend upon only present and past that is said to be causal otherwise non causal so now coming to invertible and non invertible system if a system response is invertible that means if you are having a system internal to any system that is that can invert the response to its actual then that is called as invertible system otherwise that is called as non invertible system so here finally we are having stable system and unstable system so for a uh, a system is said to be a stable system when for a bounded input if that is producing bounded output then that is said to be a stable system for a bounded input if it is pro producing unbounded output then that is called as unstable system each and every classification of these systems we will discuss one by one from next class onwards that means linear and non-linear time variant invariant lti and ltv and static and dynamic causal and non causal invertible and non invertible static and uh, uh, un unsta unstable stable and uh, unstable system so we will discuss one by one from next class onwards with uh, some uh, examples